For our next challenge, we were told to hot foot it to the scene of an accident. As you can see, the road has been blocked with a crash. This is this here, you see? Yeah. Normally, it would take the authorities six hours to get the road open again. Yeah. You will now demonstrate that it's possible to be much quicker than that. Well, it is. We don't yeah. have to wrap them all in tinfoil blankets. We don't have to offer them counselling. We don't have to fill in health and safety forms until a week on Tuesday. We can just clear this in no time. Well, this yeah. is our chance to prove it. If you haven't got the job done in two minutes, motorists who've been held up will be allowed to pelt you with food. Good idea. With the clock ticking, Richard and I decided to take care of the cars while Jeremy took care of the wounded. We were working well as a team. I'm towing that car! Sort of. I've got a live one here! And as a result, we had most of the wreckage no. and the bigger body parts cleared in good time. <laughs> While we'd been busy at the crash scene, the real police had turned up. They wanted to demonstrate the official procedure for stopping a stolen car. The operator will dispatch a police vehicle. The Hotel Papa 91 Lima 375 Tango Papa Tango, a BMW colour silver, lost stolen report. You see. Throughout this, the pursuing vehicle will be given a commentary to all the vehicles that are engaged in this stop. And the vehicle is failing to stop, failing to stop. The vehicles will be given the instructions to move off by the pursuing vehicle. It does seem like quite a faff. It is a palaver, to be honest. It's very involved. You know they have to fulfil 13 separate health and safety criteria before they can do this? Well, he could be abroad by then. Once the criteria is fulfilled, they will attempt to stop the vehicle. Go near side, near side. And under the instruction of the ground commander, they will get the vehicle into position where they can surround it, box it, and stop it. Well, you just wind the window down, draw alongside, blow his head off. Or ram him off the road. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Yeah, but the point is, the police won't ram him off the road because their police cars are valuable. They're about 30 grand each. Driving up and stop, stop, stop. Well, this is where our idea comes in. And for once, the challenge was just what we'd hoped for. You will now demonstrate to the police how your cheap cars can be used to stop a stolen car without using £125,000 worth of Volvo, the RAF and 16 health and safety forms. And just to make your task that little bit harder, the BMW will be driven by Ronnie Stiggs. Oh, I know. Oh, Keen to try out his paint gadget, Inspector Morose went first. There goes a member of the criminal classes. So we're now watching James in a hot pursuit situation. Yeah. Wow. How long have you got before you have to go home tonight? Oh, was he shuffling? I'm actually going to get the no, police I'm... shuffle. I'm shuffling the wheel in accordance with the police roadcraft driving manual. Hang on. James's plan is to deploy his paint. Yes. Now that relies entirely upon him being in front Absolutely. of anybody else. Luckily, I had a plan. Right, watch this. I know what he's doing. He's going to wait for him to come round again and then pick him up. I can see the miscreant approaching in my rearview mirror. But this sitting around waiting for the baddie to come round again... <laughs> it could work on the M25, perhaps. <laughs> He's pounced. He's pounced. Is he? Now, is he is deploying? He, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. It works. Why the windscreen? It works. That is brilliant. I'm amazed. Sadly, there was one invention James hadn't considered. <laughs> well, he's just put his wipers on. So, would Hammond have any success? So a 1.6 litre salon. Come on, come on, come on! Give chase! No, look, that's pathetic. I'm a police officer. I shall never give up. Ah, ah you um... see. Now, thanks to four-wheel drive, I could intercept the Stig and deploy my Stinger. This is £900 plus a bit of doormat with some nails in it. Here we go. Ha, ha, ha! 
<laughs> he missed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's just driven around it. <laughs> the stinger needs to be longer. Now, all hope of succeeding in this challenge rested with Commodore Clark Sonio. Right, now, in Jeremy's mind, this is already a magnificent spectacle. What I like to do is play music loud. It scares the hell out of it. It's Robin Duval, mate! I'm going to try something the Americans call pitting. I put my car along his rear wing, push his back end out, he countersteers, I then break, and, of course, it shoots the other way. Unfortunately, none of what I just said happened. So there's nothing for it. I'm going to deploy my boat of Sears. I don't think he'll take Stings alive. Now, any second now. Oh, that's uncomfortable. I presume at some point there's going to be a simply hideous accident. Yep. Come on! I think it could be time to admit failure. See? That could have been, um... <laughs> Something's gone wrong with the handling. You, what, failed to apprehend the miscreant. We are rubbish. We are not very good. We're not doing as well as we thought we were. 